Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Raw Hunting. So we're getting ready to kick off the 2020 season. We got less than a month before our season opens here in South Dakota. We're getting pretty excited. So a little bit of a layout is what I want to start with this season uh, before we start getting into gear upgrades and that kind of stuff. Here's a little bit about what I'm going to get into. Uh, the 1st of September archery season opens. That gives us some time to get a velvet buck put on the ground. Uh, unfortunately, I only get one buck tag this year for South Dakota, so uh, if it's going to be a velvet buck, it's going to have to be a good one. Otherwise, I'm going to wait till November. Uh, midway through September, I am taking my first trip out to Oregon. I'm going to get to dive into the elk hunting world, and we're going to do it good because I'm going with two other guys from work. We're going to do a backpack style hunt where we're off the beaten path miles into the wilderness and we'll see what happens so extremely excited for that we got to do a whole video on that just talking about the different gear that I had to get for it uh, it was definitely not cheap to get into but at least it's a one-time purchase and uh, after I get back from Oregon it's gonna start cooling off here so come October we'll really start keying in on some bucks that are in the area on the private land I get to hunt and November rolls around, the rut starts to kick in uh, sometime the end of that first week through the second week and that's going to be a very fun month because I got a rifle tag for a doe. My wife Keely also got a tag for a doe. What's up? What are you laughing? Nothing. Come on in. Show everybody a wave everybody. You're going to get your first deer this year, huh? Hi. Right? Yeah. With your own rifle? That's right, get that first deer, get you hooked on it too. So we're going to do that, I'll get to fill my tag and also at the same time we're going to bring Anthony up here, he's going to get to stay with us for a little bit. Uh, we don't know if it's going to be first or second week in November, but he's trying to come up here sometime in the first half of that month. So we can knock out uh, the first hunt we will have been on together in over 10 years. Uh, last time we were together we were just kids up at Fort Campbell, if I remember right. Correct me if I'm wrong, Anthony, but Fort Campbell uh, on the Tennessee-Kentucky line. No, uh -uh, the last time you were together when you were going to go up and visit. No, to hunt. Oh, you're going to hunt? Yeah, I'm talking about hunting. My bad. Yeah, that's all right. So then, uh, hopefully yeah, by the end of November, right. I've got myself pretty well wrapped up. It's going to turn off super cold here in South Dakota. We'll be down nice. at the zero degree range single digit highs it's gonna get really cold up here um, we'll go over in the next video some of my equipment upgrades but just to hit on some of those I got some different broadheads this year uh, because they were on sale and I've used them before so we'll be using those in conjunction with the ranges uh, even though I talked out against it, I did go to a single pin slider site with the HHA Tetra LT. Very happy with it so far. I uh, was skeptical of uh, are your uh, yardage markings going to be right on those things, but so far, uh, if you just follow the instructions, get the right tape put on, it's uh, extremely accurate. So don't worry about what you shoot versus what everybody else is shooting, just if you're interested in it, hit me up, I'll let you know, we'll do a video on it later so you guys understand in a little more depth what's going on with it. I got that site because uh, I'm trying to get into spot and stalk this year. I have an opportunity to go with a friend of mine who doesn't tree stand hunt. He is from Oregon and has spot and stalked everything he's ever killed. And he's really good at it. So if I can get good at that, it's just another way I can uh, give myself opportunities to hunt different species of animals. So we are super excited about it. I can't wait. We're, like I said, less than a month away from that first of September opener here in South Dakota. Uh, hopefully uh, COVID is calming down in everybody's neck of the woods and you can you can get in there and start chasing some critters. If not, uh, please be patient. No matter what guys, we got to put safety first. So Good luck, everybody. Uh, we got plenty more videos to come, and we hope to see you next time. Thanks. Hey, guys. 
If you like the content we're putting out here at Raw Hunting, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also look us up on Facebook and give us a like and a share. We appreciate it, and we'll see you guys next time.